Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. The topic for today's video is going to be all the important happenings from Sepang test day 2. So guys in case you are wondering what the manufacturers are actually testing, what new are they testing in their motorcycles, I have covered that in my yesterday's video, Sepang test day 1 video. So please make sure you first go and watch that video to know what the manufacturers are actually testing. I'll leave the video up in the cards and uh, go, go and watch it, you'll get a much more better idea. So now we are going to talk about Sepang test day 2. So yesterday guys, as I said, Alesh Aspargaro set the fastest ever lap around the Sepang circuit for a two-wheeled motorcycle. And I also said that Aprilia has said that their bike is completely new, they have improved a lot. But don't get your hopes up too high so early because we still have to see what the competition has to offer. And that kind of came true today. The lap record that Alesh Aspargaro set yesterday was smashed today by a Ducati. Can you guess who the Ducati was? I'll give you three seconds. So, three, two, one. So yes guys, the Ducati that did that was not any of the factory Ducatis, but Anea Bastinini. He set the fastest ever lap around the uh, Sepang circuit with a 1 minute 57.131 seconds, which is super quick. So that was the highlight of the day guys, Anea Bastinini shattering the lap record. And also guys, we have to remember one thing that this is not the factory Ducati and the factory Ducati, I bet they have much more to offer. And as the season begins, we're going to find out what they can do. So guys, today's Sepang test began with a lot of uh, flying laps, uh, with a lot of testing and the Sepang heat soon came. And because of that, the riders were able to have some good weather and they were able to go fast. At the point guys, the top 12 riders were separated by just 0.3 seconds. Yes guys, top 12 riders were separated by just 0.3 seconds. This is great for us spectators because from this we can understand that the 2022 season is going to be super competitive. More competitive, more close racing. We as fans absolutely want that. We as fans absolutely love that. But guys, there was another twist in the tail and this one wasn't a good one. What happened was that the rain gods decided that uh, it had to rain and that's what happened. We saw rain at Sepang and towards the end of the test it was raining so there was not much point for anyone to do anything. So that is how the things have concluded and uh, overall if we say it was a very positive test for the likes of Aprilia, for the likes of Ducati, for Honda even, for Suzuki to some extent but the teams that really have a lot of work to do so far according to me are Yamaha as well as KTM. So let's see guys what is there in store for us as we move further but this was it for the video if you want to know what happened from day one uh, i'll leave a link down in the description do watch that video and guys uh, if you like what you see if you have any feedback make sure you leave the feedback in the comment section and if you like what you see hit the like button if you dislike what you see hit the dislike button twice also guys if you're new to my channel interested in motorsports and motor gp and motorcycles please make sure you hit the subscribe button ding the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye